Keep watching Charis TV. Let's be fast, a bit fast. If I were you, I would choose the one who doesn't have money. Amen. You hear me? Amen. Huh? Amen. If I were you, I would choose the one who doesn't have money. Amen. Because tomorrow you will have money. You know, you people, let me tell you. Uh, now I can never... Uh, uh, <laughs> Did you hear what I'm telling this lady? I don't know if you... I'm sure it will be a lesson to many of you. I'm telling this lady, I say, if I were her, I will choose the one who does not have money. Amen. Can you hear that advice? Amen. It sounds foolish, isn't it? Mm. Sounds foolish. But I'm telling you, hey, marry a man that has got Jesus. Don't marry a man because of a job. Very soon that job, they will give him a letter and say, Mfo, Amba, Amba And he will come back home so much discouraged. And you, you're going to be double discouraged. You know, because the union was for money. You, and the one you rejected, you'll find these things are starting to work now. Tell your neighbors and neighbor, don't look life with the naked eyes. Don't look at life with your naked eyes. Look at life with spiritual eyes. You know what you must do? You ladies, when you find someone and there's another one, don't be confused. You know what you must do? Pray. Pray to God and God, which one is which? Pray and ask God, which one is which? You, you don't become a good husband because you've got something in your pockets. You know? Ma'am, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. Uh, my name is Mpo, and then I come from Midrand in Java. Today, during the service, Prophet Andres Simona located you and he spoke upon your life. I'd love that you please tell us what he said to you and that you confirm it as well. Okay, so uh, Prophet Andres located me and then he said uh, I must choose the one who doesn't have money. So, yes, I uh, can confirm the prophecy to be true because then I've been uh, confused and then I've been asking God to like, give me direction on uh, the people actually the person who needs to like marry me so yes uh, so uh what actually happened is uh there are two people who i was actually like entertaining and then also this guy who he's prophesied me about so i've just been like entertaining them thinking that okay they do have potential but then i was in my heart i've been like looking for the right person not looking at the material but then it just happened that some are coming with uh, maybe materials, but then this person is coming with nothing. So yeah, so I've just like uh, been looking for that revelation because then he's also the one who seems to be like very very serious okay. comparing to the years. <laughs> and how do you feel that today the men of God located you and directed you? I I think uh, I've got I have clarity actually on what I need to to do because then now it means I need to stop like entertaining. Uh, people who are not right for me and then yeah because now at least I have some clarity on on the future and then yeah so I just need to like focus now on building with this person without any further confusions. Yeah. <laughs> and how do you feel? I'm, I'm happy actually. <laughs> I'm happy because then I've been praying about it. I've been like uh, seeking God. So okay, maybe just give me this revelation. Maybe can I just receive some sort of prophecy about it? And then yeah, today finally it's located. So yeah, I've, I have clarity now on what I need to do. <laughs> and how would you encourage somebody who's going through what you went through before you receive direction today? 
Uh, I think I'll encourage them to like uh, seek seek uh, the word first and then the revelation. Don't just rush into anything without knowing that the person who you're getting into is actually the right person for you and then you shouldn't look at anything like materialistic instead of like uh, the right person for you who's going to like give you like you know stability and peace actually yeah so i will encourage them to look at god first and then yeah the revelations will come in terms of marriage <laughs>